talking behind each other's backs. Now they are face to face. And pretty soon, fist to fist. Hits with the clothesline. Face first off the knee. She's on the defensive now. But I'd be surprised if she doesn't find a way back in control of this thing. Well, she certainly seems to favor being outside the ring. Though for the life of me, I cannot figure out why. If you ask me, guys, matches like this where there are essentially no rules are one giant free-for-all where absolutely anything can happen. Back elbow! Jeez, you see that? Oh, she clearly liked the results from the first time she delivered that move. I like the way you describe this match, Byron. It's one giant free for all. And while it's exciting to watch, it's absolute torture on these superstars. It is cold. Unfortunately, matches like this usually result in injury. Sometimes serious injury. Oh, man. Shoulders on the mat. And only a one count. Just powered out. Without a doubt, this is a volatile situation, guys. WWE superstars are dangerous without weapons. Then you put them in an environment like this, and who knows what you're liable to see. She got her good there. Got the head scissors on. Oh, oh. elbow in the face. Hard to argue Michael's point on volatility and the volatility of this match. But what I think... Here's a cover. And a kick out. He's still in this one. Incoming! When it comes to matches like this, I'd say the more innovative a superstar is when it comes to offense, the better chance they have of victory. Back in from the floor. Draped on the apron. The point of that elbow delivers. We got a cover. As Byron mentioned, innovation certainly is a key in a match like this. A competitor can't be averse to taking action outside the ring. By no means is this your traditional contest. Dana Brooks, that shot landed on her and was a direct hit. That should do it. That's it. Dana Brooks just ended this one. That's how you wear down your opponent. And a perfectly executed stretch. Seems to be... Oh, no, here we go. Dana Brooks sees it. It's just a matter of time now. Going for the cover. Real close. Too close for cover. She kicked out there, but I don't know how much more she can take. Crushing damage to the back. I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. She's got something in mind. Look out. She could be done. The finisher could absolutely end this match, Michael, as you were saying. But it's not a guarantee. Sometimes it takes two or even three to get the job done. And even then, it's not a sure bet. A la Randy Savage versus the Ultimate Warrior at WrestleMania 7. That's my favorite match of all time. Randy Savage landed an amazing five top rope elbow drops, but was still unable to put Warrior away. And you know what? He probably could have hit him with five more. There was just no stopping the Warrior on that one. One more shot and she's done. As we've seen in the past, Extreme Rules matches create a type of hysteria that's difficult to describe, even more difficult to contain. Face first off the knee. Boom! Oh, what a 
clothesline. I'd have to agree with what Byron's saying. When you've got action taking place all over the arena, complete with every weapon imaginable, it's not easy to keep up. Well, try, Cole. That's what you're getting paid for, isn't it? Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. Oh, and what impact. She goes for the cover. She kicks out of that one. With all the damage done, you have to wonder how much more it'll take. Before joining the sports entertainment ranks, Dana Brooke was a world-class gymnast, fitness competitor, and professional bodybuilder. But when Dana Brooke came to NXT, she came for one reason and one reason only, to die. No, she breaks it. Wow, she's quite the escape artist, Michael. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. Delivers the axe handle. That's it. That's what she needed. Oh, man, Ronda Rousey doesn't even know where she is. She goes for the cover. Too close for cover. Very admirable performance here, but you have to wonder if she's risking permanent injury. I think she's trying to prove a point here. Dana Brooks setting it up. Oh, my. Dana Brooks. That has got to be it. That's it. Dana Brooke just ended this one. I wouldn't have been surprised if that was it. Wow. I can't believe she kicked out there. Seems to me, guys, like we're just moments away from seeing the finisher, which could obviously put this match on ice. Oh, elbow drops her with authority. Wow, that was intense. She goes for the cover. Dana Brooke got it. Let's take a little look at some of the action from that match. Wow. Hope everybody at home set those DVRs because that was a match you're going to want to watch again and again and again. Epic. When any superstar, man or woman, is able to find a way to win a match as entertaining and action-filled as that one, they should be grateful and really proud. Some great stuff. Here is your winner, Dana Brooke. You heard the ring announcer. This one's over. And here's your winner. Wow, when you pick up a pinfall victory over somebody like that, you've done something right. Guys, it sounds like we can all agree that was an extremely impressive win.